Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to Unhack channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 200 videos, actually more than 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you with the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very professional and unique without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring these expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you be the judge, and I'll respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add tabs to product description on your Shopify product page without using the meta fields and by using the simplest way possible. And I did spend some valuable time to discover this trick because it's very, very simple. You don't have to set uh, different meta fields for different products and set those meta fails for the, it's, it's a mess. To do it by using the meta fails, it's actually a mess and it's not very good uh, or it's not very friendly for non-technical people that are not familiar with Shopify. In this tutorial, we will be able to add tabs automatically across all your products without using the meta fails and just by copy paste. You know how to use copy paste that's the only thing you use. So yeah, you can do this even if you're like five years old. And I'm just joking, I'm sure you're not. Without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each video, I add small customizations. By the video like 60 or 70, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy, all in one place. And it's filterable with tabs as well. If I click on Google, only the reviews from Google and so on from Facebook and the others. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom, come on, show up here is by using your own custom call, no applications involved and it's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it, for who to show up to first time visitors, returning visitors and controlling the intervals between each notification and many, many more options that you don't even need. And I got you, I add them just in case. But all I'm about to show you as I said in this video is adding tabs to the product description on your Shopify store without apps, without meta fields, without all the complicated stuff. Without any more talking again for the second time, let's just jump to it. So I was scrolling to, add, to access some product. By the way, everything you see in the Shopify store has been done in tutorials. So if you saw anything that you like and you think it looks good, you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because once it's here, it means it's already done with one, one of my previous videos. I don't remove the changes, I keep them. So let me click on view all because I know one product that has uh, the description is good for tabs. This one, origami crane necklace. So uh, by the way, all this stuff, again, I already made them including the wishlist system with the icon on the header, as you can see. Yeah, I did that for free again. So let me, oh, I just remember this one already have the, uh, the accordion, as you can see. So we will do that in a different team. I apologize. Let me close this actually. And we will do on this uh, team instead, which is down as well, same down team, but this one is fresh. I don't have much customizations because that one already have accordion. So I want to do it differently. So you can see clearly how it works. So let me access the same product actually. Uh, origami, right? Let me click on the second page in here this one right here. So we will do a demonstration on, on this one. So as you can see, it has no tabs in here. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So the first thing you're going to do is access Shopify dashboard already. And after that, click on all I saw and click on teams and click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. But for me, as I said, I will do this on this fresh team. I will do it in here, edit code. And after that, it will take you to the team editor for your Shopify team. And in here on the left panel, this time you see this uh, folders right here. Click on the last one before the last one. Sorry, the last one is locals. Click on assets. This one, click on it to be expanded. Then click on the first option, which is add a new asset. 
and you will see this prompt right here to add the new asset click on the left tab again ironic click on the left the right tab sorry which is uh, create a blank file click on it then from the extension click on it again and select gs which stands for javascript so select gs and on the file name name it on how dash description dash tabs just like you see on the screen right here on how dash description dash tabs and make sure to name it exactly as this otherwise it will not work so click on done and it will create a, a completely empty file and in here we need to pass in javascript that will do the job and how are you gonna get that javascript you need to hire, hire a developer pay him with 24 hours i'm just joking scroll down the description box and you will see a link my website completely free again click on it and it will take you to this page right here and as i said it's free you don't have to pay for it scroll down a little bit then you will need to download the file so just click on this image right here then download the file on your computer then open that file with any text editor on your computer and copy the whole code inside it and after that simply get back to the file that we will create this one and paste it in here that was very simple right download the file completely free open the file with any text editor copy the code paste it in here click on the save button and after that get back to my website and the next step is this one as you can see team.liquid before body get back in here and use the search bar instead uh, so they don't get confused use the search bar at the top left corner then type in team.liquid and you will see this file right here team.liquid and this one exists on every Shopify team simply click on it and after that scroll all the way down to the bottom page and you will see this one which is forward slash body as you can see forward slash body and we need to create some space before and above forward slash body that's very important to create that space simply click front of the last thing uh, before and above forward slash body in my case is this closing bracket then hit enter on your keyboard here we go we have a completely space to pass in i mean completely empty space to pass in our code and where are you gonna get that code again from my website in here this code right here simply click on this icon to copy the code then get back in here and paste it in the space that we did create and click on save button and hold on one second we didn't finish yet so one last step you need to do is you need to identify the description that this script will actually grab it and make it as tabs and i did add an example in here so you can be clear so this is how you should format the content that you want it to be as tabs so this one tab first this is the first step that will start from the right from the left sorry to the right the first step is the write it just like this right tab let me show you actually that in action so you can see so i will get back to the same product which is origami this one yeah this one and you will be able to see that live in the description here it is as you can see this is how you should format the content so this one is tab first and no worries the tab first will not show up only the text front of it even the do dot two dot sorry will not show up so this is just to make the script trigger and know the script will know that this one is the title for the first tab that's very clear right next the text below the tab one is the content for the tab one the next is tab two is the title for the tab two the content below it is the content for tab two and so on you can add how many you want but i recommend you to keep it short like three or five uh, four maybe tabs but hold on there is something important you should know maybe you noticed or no every content text here ends with dollar yes so the script has to know when the content ends so it will not trigger this one as content as well it will know by using dollar sign and no this one will not show up on the content this is just so you can tell the script stop here so this is the end of the paragraph this is the end of the paragraph and this is the end again come on show up yeah in here of the paragraph as you can see so it will know that the paragraph starts here and ends at the dollar sign so make sure to add dollar sign at the end of each paragraph that you want it to be the end of the content in the tab 
Let me show you that in action. So we'll get back in here, reload the page and see what will happen and check it out now. As you can see, uh, this is the first tab. If I click on it, the second tab, the third tab, same as the description. Artist, artistry, artistry, is that even a word? Anyway, artistry, timeless silver. As you can see, artistry, timeless silver. And the, for example, this one, during daily wear, here it is, during daily wear, and this is the dollar sign, and there is no dollar sign in here. The dollar sign, just for the script to understand, this is the end of the paragraph, and same for the others, you can see there is no dollar signs. And I think this was very clear, no need to play around with other fields or applications and so on, and if you have any options or any customizations you want to add to this code, so drop me a comment below, I will be happy to help you out or add the option you need or add the style you need. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching, catch you on the next one.